Paint the Town by Christopher Leon. Chicago's rich culture can be largely represented by the many strips of street art and graffiti that seem to cover the city, where each piece of art has a story behind it. The street art I am choosing to look at can be found on the walls of the Crawford Steel Company building, as well as many of the surrounding walls in the intersection of 36th Place and Albany Avenue. Here you can find a vast collection of street art and graffiti from countless artists in this Chicago neighborhood. Most of these pieces are made using spray paint in numerous vibrant colors, spreading not only along the outer walls of the building, but behind the building underneath the overpass as well. The subjects of these pieces vary according to the artist's wishes as well. One thing I have also noticed about this gallery is that every time I pass it, there is always new additions that cover up older pieces, one of the many natures of urban street art. For this presentation, I will be focusing on a specific piece that caught my attention. This being a piece by Ramon Static, commonly known as Static, titled Radioactive Creatures. This piece features a man in a blue tracksuit and a tiger-like hat with multiple sets of arms wielding different items. These items being a skull, an eye of providence, two glowing orbs, a hammer, and a can of spray paint releasing a ghastly figure. This piece was only recently created by Static and his crew as part of the Heavy Weights Graph Fest that took place this past July 15th and 16th. This event attracted various artists from the surrounding neighborhoods to the Crawford Steel Building as a way of celebrating these urban artists and their work. Chicago's vast collection of street art and graffiti serves as a representation of the diverse lives and rich culture that flow through city streets. One of the main components of this piece is the choice of color, where the complementary blue and orange of the tracksuit draw the audience's attention to the man wearing it. This creates the effect that the man is the main subject of the piece. Additionally, the vibrant green, white, and yellow attract the viewer's attention and give emphasis to the objects the man is holding and wearing. The outstretched arms gives the piece movement so that the objects are not just floating in the air. The background uses muted colors and darker shades of black and purple to contrast the more vibrant colors of the figure. Static has created over 400 murals nationally, and it is written on his website that the work Static produced both symbolizes and creates optimism for life in our industrialized society. Static's pieces can be fantastical, such as the piece I am analyzing, but they are often representational of re real people for intended purposes, such as the mural Static was recently commissioned to create in celebration of Juneteenth, which is located in the Bronzeville Elementary School. In this way, Static is able to use his art to spread culture throughout the streets of Chicago, as well as express his artistic talents through street art. Static has come a long way from his first pieces of street art when he was a teenager, and Radioactive Creatures serves as a sort of tribute to that era. Journalist Mary L. Datcher explains that what was kept underground and often the playground for artists fine-tuning their crafts on under-trained viaducts and on abandoned buildings is now commissioned murals throughout various neighborhoods. This piece is playful and serves as an outlet for Static to express his art artistic talents. The vibrant blues, greens, and yellows are balanced out by the darker purples and reds, showing the artist's proficiency at his craft. This piece is not meant to be realistic, as people don't usually have multiple sets of arms. In a way, this art represents the side of street art that is playful, and which allows artists to express their creative ideas. While many of Static's pieces are meaningful and representative of real-world scenarios, this kind of art is important as it represents how diverse cultures and ideas can be represented through street art within the community. This artwork is excellent at showing how communities can come together to celebrate people's diversity. The fact that a festival took place to show off the creation of this piece, and others as well, proves that this type of work is meaningful. Street art such as this piece can be found across Chicago's neighborhoods, allowing for artists to share their talents and spread their cultures across the city.